So in, in assignment eight, you are going to be creating a swatch again, just like you did in assignment seven, but this time it will be a dotted one. Okay, so let's begin by going to file, new, and letter size. I'm gonna make it portrait. All right, so the second step is to go over to your class 19 or your assignment folder, and you should have one called pop art. Okay, so in this, you can select really any one of these um, images. So I'm going to select this one here, Young Woman Phase Avatar Cartoon in Black and White. So I'm going to go here and go File, Place, and again, you can choose any one of those that you like, okay, that you want to play with. So Place, there we go. All right, so the first step is to do an image trace on this. So click on this, go over here, image trace. I'm going to pick um, three colors. Okay. And that will make an image trace. So it will vectorize this image here because right now it's a JPEG and now it's going to make it a vector image. So it's going to be made up of shapes in which I can go in and, uh, you know, change the fill or outline of. Right, so the next step is then to expand. So once all that is done, once the image has been traced, um, go over here to expand. All right, now it's in. Uh, now it's expanded, meaning you can now change things in it, except that this is still in a big group. So the next step then is to go to object, ungroup. All right, so now they're all in separate groups. So when you click on it, you can click on just hair or part of a face, okay? Um, first thing I'm going to do is go down here to the stock photo um, and delete it. There we go. So now I'm just left with the drawing. All right, so I would like to actually create some, um, some dots, okay, as a swatch. But in order to do that, um, I need to have my grids open, okay? So I'm going to go to View show grid. So grids are just really a bunch of lines, okay? Like so. You can't see it because there's white here. Okay, so I can click on that and then delete that. There we go. So I've deleted that shape there. So now I can see these grids here. Okay, so we're going to take these grids away later on, but they're just here because I want to, um, you know, use these grids to draw my circles, okay? So I'm not sure if you ever, if you know what I'm referring to when I talk about, you know, pop art or comic book art where, you know, each, like, where the fill is actually made of little dots, right? I'm sure everybody has seen that before. But in a few minutes, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so the first step is to zoom in, mm -hmm. like so, so you can see these. So don't worry about, you know, the drawing or her face. It's more important to find an area without any drawing, okay? and where you can see the each square, okay? So I'm just gonna really zoom in so you can see the square. And the next step is to go to Window Swatches. Right, and I'm gonna go open, go over here to this top right-hand corner and open Swatch Library, Art History, and I'm gonna open up Pop Art. So these are just the like color swatches that I can recommend it for Pop Art, okay? Um, I'm going to begin by drawing some circles. Okay. And I'm going to hold shift. Go. And I am going to go to my fill. Which I'm going to go actually I'm going to go over here and select one of these colors. There we go use my selection tool. Now I have one. I'm going to zoom in even more. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually create a square using my rectangle tool. And the square is going to be white. So you can select a white color or you can just go F, 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 which is white. I think there's too many Fs. There we go. Oh, I actually set that to my Circle. So I'm going to create a square 
actually let's make that 10 point by 10 point square. So 10 point by 10 point square. And that square is going to be white. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Fs, that's white. Okay. Oh. Place that there. I'm just going to have this kind of outline here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there we go. So then I'm going to place this circle over here. Okay, go to my layers. I'm actually going to place that right there. Okay. All right, so I would like them to align in the center. So if you go to window align, there we go, align tool. So align in the center. And I'm going to click and drag and hold shift down so it stays in place. There you go, another circle. And then I'm going to also click and alt, drag another circle there, and another circle there. So I want these to all kind of center align, and these to all also center align this way. Okay, they should all be aligned. All right, so the next thing I like to do is I like to select all of this and go to Window, Pathfinder Tool, and I'm going to dissect. Or sorry, not dissect, divide them all. Okay, so I'm actually going to go here and um, actually object ungroup. Go so I can delete that. Actually, before I did that, I should have taken away the stroke. Okay, so so let's go back a few steps. Okay, so okay, so now we have the square and four circles. Before we use the Pathfinder tool. I like to take the stroke away, so no stroke, All right? And maybe I'll color the circle in so you can still, um, not the circle, the square in so you can still see that square. So there's a square with no stroke and four circles around it, okay? I'm going to select all four circles and the square, and then I'm going to divide, okay? So, And then I'm going to ungroup after I divide so I can take the halves of the circles that are sticking out of the square out. All right, and next I'm going to click on this yellow. I don't really want this yellow. Um, I can change it to a different shade of pink, maybe, paler pink, there we go. That's a bit better. All right, so I'm just going to hide my layers for a sec here. Okay, so this I'm going to select all of this, so let's make sure you select the square and all the circles and drag it into your swatches, okay? Drag it into your swatches. There we go. Now I have one swatch that looks like that. Okay, so now going back to Pop Art, let's see if I can select these semicircles again and I'm going to use a different one and I think I want this to be the background to be white. Now I'm gonna click and drag it into, so select everything again, open up swatches and drag it in here. So now I have that swatch as well. Let's see what other colors we can do. There we go. And maybe red. All right, so select all again and swatches. Okay, and let's go back to pop art and select all of them again and pick a different color, blue, select all, go into swatches. There we go, so I have four swatches now, so you need at least four swatches. Just gonna zoom out and now I can start coloring, okay? Just gonna close these so it's easier to see. You can hide the guides now if you want to as well. I'm just gonna leave them open. All right, so.